What's for breakfast? Jimmy, what's for breakfast? We're gonna go get something. We are leaving sunny Seattle, headed for rainy Miami. Corey back there? Corey's in the back. Yeah, he's in the back. Oh, Deed said watch. <laughs> There's our driver, Emily, with the co-op shirt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So I'm here at Watley Discus with my buddy Jimmy. Now, what a lot of people don't know is I bought Discus from Jack Watley back in the late 70s, early 80s, and it was always my, let's call it my childhood dream to visit Watley Discus, see his, uh, these are obviously wilds, wilds down here, some more wild ones up here, a lot of heckles in here, some crosses. So. Uh, one thing off the list now, Jimmy. Dream come true. Yep, there you go. What do you think? This has got to be like a 50 gallon or 60 gallon breeder type size. And where would you see this in a wholesale situation? Hardly ever, right? Ever. Sediment filter, maybe? What's got going on there? Looking at you're at a fish farm and you're looking at plants. Yeah. <laughs> it follows you everywhere. It follows me. Where are we Wherever at, Dean? Go. We're at the neighborhood fish farm in Miami, Florida. I think it's semi-retail. All outdoor ponds, concrete ponds mostly. There are some plastic tubs and plastic tanks. It's warm out here. Very warm. Very warm. Corey knows more about these than I do. They're food fish? Yeah, he said they're a white meat um, catfish that gets about six feet long. When they're young, they have teeth. When they're older, they lose their teeth and just feed off of algae and stuff. Oh, wow. Has anything changed since you last been here? Not really, no. No? Yeah, it's the same layout, that kind of stuff. I mean, a little bit of the fish changed a little bit, but you know, still hot. Oh, did they sell the artwork? I think so. That's why I was asking if Oh, I don't like that one right there. You like this one? I, I like just kind of like that one. I kind of like that one, but it's too painty a little bit. Uh-huh. Wow, that meadow's pretty cool. That one's pretty good. That one's, that one's a nice one. Yeah. Well, hello, my name's Orion. Welcome to Neighborhood Fish Farm. We've been here since 1971. Family's been here since 1965. The Bradwell Blue Snails are registered, actually created on this farm back in the late 70s, early 80s, I believe. Um, now we're just open retail, seven days a week, 11 till five. You can walk around, stroller friendly, wheelchair accessible. Definitely. Throughout the whole farm, so everybody in your family can get an experience. We have a years and endless years of knowledge with Carolyn, Christy, Allie, ask for any of them. Well, thank you very much. You're I a natural, man. So, you get to pet the dojo loaches while you're here. Just come on, they'll come I up right there. They'll do that. They come out here and they just hang out and eat out of your hands. Awesome.
if I was setting up Africans and I was bringing something home, it'd be red front toes as well. I like these guys. Okay. Yeah, Black Widow front toes. Yeah. yeah. I like them. Yeah, they're cool. here. First spot in collecting. Let me fix my CPL real quick. Parked on the side of the road here. I think we're in Mar-a-Lago. Corey's already wanting to get in the water. I could already see some fish here on the sides. Looking good. That's got to be going right now. Yeah. I ain't going in the water. We had a gentleman just tell us that uh, there's a gator in stealth mode walking around so we gotta look for air bubbles. Yeah. Who looks tastier, me or Corey? Oh, I'm tastier for sure. How dare you? It's not quite as warm as Peru. No, that's right. That was cold. Here's the first fish, Jimmy. You want to pull the net out? Out of the water? Yeah. It's an apisto. It looks like a pisto. I have no idea what it is. So. <laughs> Ready, Jimmy? Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what they are. I'd like to go towards the bridge. Is there peacock bass here? I'm pretty sure I caught one. Wow. Yeah, I caught one. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, three types of What's fish. What's the purple one? Anybody want a crayfish? Anyone want a crayfish? Oh, this is a jewel fish right here. That's a jewel fish. Yep. Uh, this is a Mayan cichlid. And this is another jewel fish. He's just not as mature as this guy. Oh, there we go. Wow. That's the best colored one I've seen so far, for sure. Jewel cichlid? Oh, yeah. Right All right, get in on it, Jimmy. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that thing's bright. Wow. That's the one making the babies. Oh, that's how'd right. you do that? Shake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, like a non-colored one of those. Here's these two. I will bet you. I don't know. Here's what that and then. Look at those little jewels sicker than one of Corey's palms. Muscle. Here's the dad, Jimmy. Color that. All right, bigger than we want to ship, though. Oh, 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 oh. The biggest of the big. Dang. That's, that's, those, those are the biggest. Male, female pair, probably. My insects, I guess. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh wow. Hair too. Yeah. We're keeping these. <laughs> I've, been, I've been filming a lot of the plants. Bacopa? Oh wow, Rotala. Pretty sure that's Rotala. Looks like it, huh? Yeah. Pull it out, I'll plant it right back in there. Oh, here's another super nice red one with the babies. I caught dad with babies, I think. So the water from where you are right there, where it's at your knees, to here, <laughs> I'm standing against the bottom. So, three feet. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like a three foot drop. Yeah, because I stepped right here and it went yeah. right there. But check out dad here, or whatever it's going to be. Right here. So there's lots of babies in there, but then. Bright red. Wow. That's probably the reddest so yeah, far. It's it gets more red and red. Put that in the bucket. Do we want a bunch of babies to go with it? Because there's a bunch in here. Yeah, we'll put them in the auction. Uh, a lot of home. snails too, huh? Yeah, well you can see the all the babies hopping. Hop yeah, let's see. Hopping babies. Those might be too small to ship. Yeah. Here we go. Here's really? another beautiful bright, bright red one. But are we getting any females? Looks like it. Looks like I got them. Look at oh, that yeah. one. And then here's the, here's the other. Yeah. yeah. So even in the wild, the snails are attaching themselves to snails. the uh, ballastinaria and eating. Here's the flowering uh, lilies. Oh, no, no, I caught one of those. Beautiful. Yeah, I caught one of those. That's 
two of us can take them. Okay, I got the biggest ever. I don't know, Zenzo, is this the same as what you got? Looks like it. Yeah. What do you think so far, Zenzo? Yeah? Yeah, it's dope. I didn't want to keep any of the fish. Yeah. And I'm already thinking, like, how can I keep all the fish? Yeah. <laughs> it's time for a commercial, Dean. Hey, Extreme. These, these jewel cichlids in the canal are raised on krill flakes. Look at that. That's a pretty good one. I think it's a pair. Ooh, you do have a pair. Yeah, that's a pair. Sure? Both look super red. Well. Wow. That's pretty rad that's there. Red. No, I don't think anyone's gonna want them after we breed them, but man, do they look good. I'm not sure what this is. Super red, purple. Put them all in the bucket. In the net. Scoop up some water. Put them right back. I lost it. No. Nope. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so Zenzo, try to fly it under the bridge. <laughs> well, hold on, I can tell oh. the Do it the other way, it'd be easier. And Cordy's trying to retrieve it. I can write it off as a business expense. Not looking good. Oh, we got another helper here. Take your hat off, she could die. Could you see anything when you're in the water? I opened my eyes, it's, no it's definitely mercury. Oh. Uh, mercury. And, uh, I'm a little nervous, so it's hard to hold your breath. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got some roots there. What is that? Uh, Hygrophila. If anybody has fish, yell and someone will take it or throw it back. We have fish. We get what Corey do you guys up. end up getting? A lot of jewel cichlids. Wants. Okay, me too. Yeah, we got, we got some croaking grummies. One, I think one Molly's in there. There's a, si there's a cichlid in here one that we're not sure what it is. Yeah. Okay. Probably a uh, Mayan or a spotted tilapia. No, it wasn't a Mayan. You have your little glass thing? Uh, that's not a cichlid, that's a sunfish. Look yeah, it's sunfish. That's a sunfish? Yeah. Oh, okay. The blue oh. That's a good looking fish yeah, though. Yeah, blue yeah. Done with, Done with spot number one. We only lost one drone. Three spots, three drones. Is that we're going for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, here he's wrangling him in. This guy's like a sheepdog the way he hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. All right. Maybe we abandon this idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are all gambus here. So Who was looking for golden pop minnows? Not me. I'm sure someone is. Gotta be. I thought somebody was looking. Uh, I know guy, that the guy's looking for blue gem. You got a shrimp? Yeah. Here we go again. You got a bucket, Corey? Awesome. All right, we're really deep in the wild today. We got Dean collecting right next to the wilderness. Here's what I'm flying home with for my tank and Ekin tank. Oh. Uh, the Kabamba, uh, Rotala, look how beautiful that is. Little bluefin killie. Bluefin. Uh, it is, That's yeah. a nice little male. Yeah. Bucket? Yeah. Whoa, I got something long and skinny. Oh, it's a swamp diver. Swamp diver. Anybody want those? 
No, nope, that's a darter. Yeah. Look how neon green that Kabamba is. Got it? Okay, let me get the cool one for you here. Yeah. Hang on, Jimmy. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah. It's live! No. Now that you're not the cameraman, now we're on take three. And that has to be the weirdest place I've ever collected fish. Right over there. That you enjoyed this compilation of our trip to Florida. The American Live Bear Association was quite gracious to host us and I can speak for the entire team at Aquarium Co-op when I say that we had a blast. Make sure to check out our videos on the Summerland Fish Farm Tour as well as a visit to Badfish Florida's Aquarium Store. Also stay tuned for more upcoming content. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, I am a terrible drone pilot, obviously, as I crashed that one into the canal, but I did get a new one, so no worries. 